Since a lot of you liked and watched our video, one dog year is not equal to seven human years, it seems only natural that I explore this topic further. Let's get into the details of this interesting belief and find out just why dogs age much faster than us humans. Meet Mademoiselle Jean Calment, a French supercentenarian who lived to be 122 years and 164 days old. With this extraordinary age, she is currently the record holder for the longest living person on the planet. She died in 1997, but her record remains and is a tough one to break, considering the fact that the average age of any human is about 72 years old. Another species who keeps baffling us is the Galapagos giant tortoise. And it's not just because of its size, but its age as well. Did you know that a Galapagos giant tortoise can live over 100 years old? And did you know the oldest one, Harriet, lived to be over 170 years old? How come, though, this extraordinary life expectancy is just not aligned in the stars for our beloved pooches? Wouldn't it be just great if we could grow old with the dogs we grew up with as kids? As much as I wish this for my buddy and me, unfortunately, there are some inevitable factors standing in the way of our happily ever after. But there is some hope, because dogs can live very long too. Take Bluey, for example. She was an Australian cattle dog who lived to be 29 years and 5 months. So, if we consider the popular belief that says one dog year is equal to seven human years, does this mean that Bluey's human age was seven times 29 years? Let's take a closer look at how exactly a dog's age is determined. But first, let's compare a few facts and check out the lifespan of some other animals. Depending on the breed, most dogs live around 10 to 13 years. Their lifestyle and health also play a big part in their life expectancy, but that's another story for another video. A dog this old is already considered a senior, but a 13-year-old person, on the other hand, still has his whole life in front of him. And remember how dogs can have pups at 9 months of age, while humans are only fully grown and developed at 18 years? A quick assessment of these two examples tells us one thing for sure. Dogs age faster than us humans, way faster. How come, though? Have you noticed that bigger dogs live shorter lives than smaller ones? Take a Great Dane, for example. This breed can live up to 8 to 10 years. But when looking at a smaller breed like the Chihuahua, you'll see that their life expectancy is around 12 to 20 years. And it's not just the bigger breeds that don't live to an old age. Sadly, in comparison to other species, dogs just aren't that lucky. Aristotle believed that the moisture of an animal had something to do with the lifespan of an animal. He observed that an elephant lived longer than a mouse because of the difference in body fluids. While this is not entirely correct, the Greek philosopher was right about one thing though. Bigger animals tend to live longer. This could have something to do with their body mass which is directly connected to their metabolic rate. Bigger animals have a slower metabolism and therefore produce less energy, which makes them age slower which would mean the complete opposite for smaller animals. Some animals with a faster metabolism don't live as long due to the fact that their bodies work much harder, making them tire out faster. Well, this is what scientists have believed for almost a century. But it seems this rule does not apply to all animals. There are smaller species that do live longer, just because they've found a way to avoid danger, like chinchillas. In the wild, they hide in burrows because they offer a safe haven for them. Thanks to this hiding habit, these animals live to be 10 to 20 years old. Hide and live. Pretty good code to live by, if you ask me. And did you know that the longest living rodent is the naked mole rat, which has a lifespan of 30 years? But for them, it's their very low metabolic rate, which gives them five times more years of life than they would actually have, were it not for the low oxygen environment they live in. Circling back to bigger animals for just a second, Bigger animals also have a greater chance of survival due to the fact that most bigger animals don't really have anyone standing in their way of, well, their living. Look at an elephant or a lion. Who would dare attack such regal beasts? Exactly, no one. But a mouse, on the other hand, is an easy target that inevitably gets hunted down, no matter what he does. That's also why smaller animals reproduce at a rapid speed, ensuring the continuous survival of their species. 
Other smaller animals go outside this rule as well. While observing parrots, for example, researchers have found that a large parrot will have more than 250 heartbeats per minute. And get this, they are the only birds that can outlive humans. Their life expectancy reaches up to 100 years. Isn't that amazing? Their body size lies at the root of this. They have a high metabolic rate and are able to retain their body temperature at an optimal level. In short, parrots' genes have evolved in such a way that enables them to live a long life. And of course, we can't forget to mention bats. Next to birds, these animals also have a small body size and high metabolic rate, but their life expectancy in the wild is amazing. Most bats live less than 20 years in the wild, but scientists have documented six species that can live more than 30 years. I wonder if that's where the saying, as old as a bat, comes from. Anyway, in 2006, a small bat was found in Siberia to be 41 years old. The scientists said that the old bat, the Brantz Meotis, had lived 9.8 times longer than would have been expected based on its longevity quotient. That's the maximum age standardized by its body size. In this case, this is the highest value ever reported for any mammal, including those maintained in captivity. According to Podlutsky, Associate Professor of Cellular and Structural Biology, the human longevity quotient is only 4.5, with a record documented lifespan of 122 years. I guess that this Brant's myotis specimen could be considered a supercentenarian among bats, holding the same life secrets just like Mademoiselle Jean Comland. Cats also live a much longer life in comparison to dogs. They may not really have nine lives, but if a cat is domesticated, it can live up to 20 years, maybe even longer. The explanation for this lies in the cat's innate behavior. Dogs are pack animals and are very sociable. While a favorable trait for a dog owner, it's also the reason why dogs are easier and more susceptible for diseases. Because they like to mingle with each other, dogs easily spread and get diseases from other dogs. Cats, on the other hand, are solitary animals who mostly choose to stay aloof. Being independent helps them to avoid contracting diseases, consequently boosting their lifespan. Dogs, however, have a high metabolism as well, but unfortunately, they don't have the same longevity as parrots. For dogs, the extra work their bodies do, sadly, does mean they age faster than us, resulting in much shorter lives than ours. This also explains how dogs are able to mature so fast. Although it's not a rule of thumb for all dog breeds, remember the example of the Chihuahua outliving the Great Dane? Yeah, nature has a lot of exceptions. In general, observation and experience throughout the years has shown that if you want a dog that will live a very long life, it's better to choose a smaller breed. Other theories about dogs not living as long as other animals include excessive crossbreeding dogs. Dogs and humans have a history that dates back centuries. For as long as we can remember, dogs have always been by our side helping us with whatever they are capable of. Working dogs, war dogs, guard dogs, and nowadays, they've even taken on the role of therapy dogs. They are such versatile animals that I guess we also could not and cannot resist to make them even better. Crossbreeding them to get new, stronger, and healthier breeds may have helped us, but did it help them though? Crossbreeding has always been a subject of debate. I have to say though that dogs do live longer than their ancestors. Wolves only live to be about six to eight years in the wild, while dogs, thanks to domestication, outlive them by at least a few years extra. And then there's the matter of calculating their age. The one to seven years ratio, though widely used and accepted, fails to tell us how old a dog really is. Scientists from the University of California San Diego School of Medicine, however, have done a study which provides a more accurate calculation of a dog's age. They created a formula that compares the ages of humans and dogs more accurately. The changing patterns of methyl groups in dog and human genomes is the basis for the study. Since dogs and humans don't age at the same pace in their lifetime, the results show it's not a perfectly linear comparison, as the one to seven years belief would suggest. Through tests done on the blood samples of 105 Labrador retrievers, in the end, the study produced an interesting graph with this, the age of your dog and the comparable human age can easily be determined. Let's say your dog is nine doggy years, which would mean he's probably as old as the 65-year-old actor Tom Hanks. The study clearly shows that it's not a one to seven years ratio, is a flawed method to calculate your dog's age. When dogs are young, they age really quickly compared to humans. A one-year-old dog is similar to a human who is about 30, while a three-year-old pooch is about 48 years old. 
but by the seventh year, aging slows down for a dog. And if your canine is really lucky to reach the age of 10, then he would be 68 years old if he was human. I for one am happy to celebrate each year I have with my buddy and me. How old is your pooch?